Hey everybody, Joe Robinson here. It's Spencer's Ventura Mattress here in Ventura, California. It's been a little while since we've been here on YouTube, but today I'm really excited because we have a bed that we're gonna open. It's the Beauty Rest Black Label K Series. And this particular bed, before I get in here, I want to bring, hey Spencer. Yeah, Joe. Come on in here. Sure. Spencer's been running around, busy. <laughs> yeah. uh, so this is the bed that we're gonna be opening. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about this guy? Yeah, this is a, a Beautyrest Black, a Simmons Beautyrest. So the branding's called Simmons, the, the name of the company. And it's a Beautyrest, which is a, 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 a brand of Simmons. And it's a black, which is a, a type. And it's their higher end of, of their and line. And how much does a bed like the, this work? These will sell. For? This is a king size for $5,000. You 5, go to Macy's 000. or any department store. Now, this one was, we just looked at the law label, and I'll show, send you, a, a, I'll include a photo in this video so you can see it for yourself but I believe it was manufactured October 25th, 2021. So it's like a 14 month old bed. Yeah. Probably been used much less than that. Right, right. And here it is they already being returned. They just purchased one, we built one for them and they, they just threw this on our truck and just wanted to get rid of it, so. All right, so yeah. we're gonna bring this over and, and maybe we can tell our viewers why we haven't been on YouTube for a while. Yeah, yeah, uh, okay. While we, while, we, while we show them the bed. Yeah, yeah. But check but this I, out, I, we're gonna cut it open right now. Yeah, and I just, we're real quick, yeah. real quick. I just wanted to show you, in all fairness, if this was standing up, it should slump a little, but not this much. Yeah, this, this is, is, this this is, is like, like a beanbag, isn't it? I bet you it's like a beanbag chair. I mean, it's somebody else's bed, but. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, all right, no, let's bring it over. Sure. The Beautyrest Black, we just brought it over. And uh, I'm gonna pan over. We're gonna spin this thing so you guys can kind of see, but you can see it's really uneven. Want me to spin this? Yeah, sure. This is our table we build the beds on here. One of many tables they build beds on. Yeah. But. So you can uh, see the pillow top's really uneven and it's not tufted in or glued in or anything. Yeah. So how are we gonna open this puppy up? We're gonna call Franklin over. All right, the main man. <laughs> Franklin, we need to open this thing. So I think, uh, so this is called a tape edge. We take this off first and it's the-, the, the Can I rip this off? Sure. The stitching on here, the stitching on here is a uh, chain, chain stitch. Beauty rest black. Which means the chain stitch, when you pull on it, it undoes itself as it goes around. Is okay. it on this side? Oh, I see. You wanna do it first? The top one first. We're gonna dissect this for people. Cause it's really, to me it's interesting. Cause I, I love looking in other people's beds to, to get a good idea as to totally. what, what to do and what not to do. Cause Beautyrest has great springs. Now I've we always, said, I've we always... said that on one of those last videos and it didn't prove. It wasn't a Beautyrest so. Right. But, but. Did the owners yeah. of this mention why they were getting rid of it? Did they say anything or not really? He's just too poofy for him. Too, po too soft, too, too, too soft, not yeah. stable enough. So see that? It's, uh, it's too hard for me when we turn it over. Right. And then I, you know. Uh huh. So he said it's too hard because I feel like I'm stuck in the middle. <laughs> right, right. Because there's too much padding on here that's not stable enough for him. So, so we're gonna. So hold on. So I'm gonna come in close. Drop my yeah. coffee off here. Oh yeah, look at okay. this. Okay. Oh gosh, this is great. This is good right here, just to see exactly what's going on. So we're gonna take this top, peel it back a little. And look at that. Joe, look at this. Look how it shifted. Oh right my here. god, it's it's similar to the bed that we opened up last time where there's all <laughs> yeah. this. What it is, look at look at. So what this is, wow. this is the adhesive they use right here. See this adhesive? They're not using it up because they really want to cut back, scale down. It's pennies in this business. Believe it or not, as much as you pay for these things, it's pennies on them making their, their profit margins. Right. So they limit their amount of glue. It's very expensive to have glue in these beds. It's not Check inexpensive. That, out. that is some really poorly spread glue. But you can see how it just shifts. It just everything shifts. Everything? Yeah, so not, if you can't yeah, zip this yet. thing let's off, see, you're, see, you're screwed. Yeah. So that's that. Can you grab me a knife, Franklin? Oh, wait, I got scissors. I have scissors. So. So yeah, so that's that. So there's a lot of shifting. Now, if they would have gotten the buttons, um, you could actually, with our machine, you button it down on the inside, and this, this can't shift. So, so, so that's, a, that's a different process. Right. Um, this is that memory foam. So basically they have, it looks like uh, three inches of memory foam. See this slow gel here? Okay. And this, sometimes if there's too much of this in there, it can really feel, it feels like it takes you into the bed too much and it's hard to move and hard to get out. But yeah, I'm kind of like shocked at this. So yeah, we could, pe oh, wait, wait, one other thing. 
This is called the panel over here. Um, we have panels over there that we make as well. I'm going to cut the panel open and see what's under there. Oh, yeah, let's see what's in there. Yeah. So. Good idea. Yeah, just for, okay. Yeah, so this is just more foam quilted to the, quilted, actually, just foam. You know, the egg crate type foam? Right. That's what this is on top. Um, let's see what's under that. And then another layer of foam. And How then, well does this stuff breathe? Does it? No, it's all synthetic material, so it throws your body heat back at you. Yeah. What's funny in our industry is they like to say it's breathable. Well, yes, at a microscopic level, you know, if you have a lot of cotton, you know, it, 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 it breathes, but if, no, it throws back body heat. Okay. This is all petroleum-based. I'm going to come in close a little basically, bit. Look at this. Foam is plastic, basically. Yeah. You know, foam is foam. But so, just, yeah, that's straight up foam. Right yeah, there. and then it looks like they have Dacron in here, which is polyester. And all then right. they have a layer of um, fire barrier, which is by law mandated. Okay. And that's rayon. Usually that's going to be some rayon. So. Okay. But the, I'll tell you what, this is not good. If no. you can avoid this in the quilting, because as you know, Franklin, this stuff mats down. Yeah. It's just, I can go like yeah. this right here. Wants, that one is look at, look at, I can do this right here in front of you and show you how flat it gets just by that. So it's, yeah. So. And you can't like shake it up or anything or stir it up because no. it's all sealed. So we're going to take this off. All right. So that's the top layer. Yeah. You take this memory foam off. And then the second top layer. And it looks here. like, Joe, it looks like the memory foam's really good. So it doesn't look like okay. it's, it's problemed at all, but they've only had it a year. Right. <laughs> so there's not much wear on this. But high quality memory foam, it sounds like. I think like. so. I think yeah. you're putting a little, a good little memory foam. What's what up with that? this glue job? It seems what does that sloppy. Say? Chewy? Oh, Chewy must have made it, everyone. Chewy. I don't know. <laughs> <Chewy>. <laughs> I don't know what it says, but was it Chewy? Chewy? Did it say Chewy? Yeah, it said Chewy. Chewy? Are you serious? Chewy by two. Okay, Chewy made this, everyone. So, Chewy, we're opening up your and, bag. And, you know, it, it's funny we're laughing at that because there's many times that we'll actually put our little signature in here, or write something, or we right. have some fun with it. Hilarious. So, yeah, All right. Yeah. Um, okay, we're cutting. This is called decking. This okay. This is the deck that goes over. And see this? See this? This in here? Again, it's not laminated down. To me, it's important to have every layer of material needs to be laminated if you want to build a really nice bed. Um, you don't have to. The big companies, again, are cutting back. Okay, let's come over here. I see an issue. This is the corner of the bed. I'm going to cut the decking open and see what's oh, going on. Oh, there looks like a little dip right there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to see what's going on on the edge here. Hey, look, it's purple. No, I mean, it's just foam. Hold on here. It's purple foam. Okay, so this, see how that is there? Oh, just yeah. all crumpled up. Oh, yeah. And these have got a little layer of micro coils in there. And uh, so we, we use these in our beds, but we just recently stopped using them. These are actually a lot thinner. So a little, real thin, a little Micro smaller. Micro coils, huh? Micro coils. So this is a, this, they like to tell customers, well, we have a lot more coils in our beds. So if everyone wants to look and see what a... really soft coils too. Yes, really soft. Look at, they like to say they have thousands of coils. This is the thousands of coils. What is that um, made out of? Just like it's a so this is polypropylene, this material, which again is petroleum based. Is that going to do any? I mean, geez. No, it doesn't do anything. I mean, it doesn't Re really. really like it's it just um, it's one way to say you have a lot more coils in a bed. We actually have put them in there and layered them between our latex, kind of see you know if it does anything, but it really doesn't do much. So yeah. Okay, so now we're going to rip this open. So far, another layer of memory foam. So the, you know, they're, when you look at their marketing, they they do show all these layers. So yeah. they're uh, they're not. Uh, yeah, you're getting. They're not lying about no, that. No, no, no. You're getting, and, and just so you know, memory foam is not inexpensive material. Right. Especially, this is this is called. Um, oh God, what is this? Is that charcoal? What do they call that? Carbon based or whatever? It's a. Uh, oh God, what's the term for car, uh, charcoal? Like. Yeah. I don't... Yeah. It's just, but it's. Oh yeah, that's like another yeah. memory foam almost, yeah. right? So basically, you can buy a memory foam bed for two thousand dollars. You know, you get this much memory foam, you just put it on a, on top of a block of foam, really. And that's great for a guest room, right? For yeah, like yeah. occasional use. Yeah. So we're gonna peel this back. Yeah. I'm gonna give them a a high look at this. Yeah. So so now you got all these. Those are all those little coils. Really don't. They you know seem to we do that messed much. with it. It really really doesn't do much. Um, but. Sure does look like a lot of coils. It is. It's a lot. Okay, so we're going to peel these back. Again, our beds, you couldn't peel anything back. We laminate 100% surface, which means we just don't put stripes. 
strips of material because what happens is, look how easy it is to get sloppy and just, yeah. Now this is probably made on a production line with like a... Oh yeah, no, no, right. these are produ production line beds. You're talking, they'll do a thousand to two thousand units a day out of these factories. Wow. And you have hundreds of employees lined up production wise. Right. If you look at our factory, it's small, boutique, handmade. There's a little... So Chewy is one of many. <laughs> Chewy is one of many. <laughs> And you know what? These guys are good, though. These artisans that they have are good. But, okay, now we're going to peel back. Now and get we're to getting the, we're the, getting to the, the meat of it. Now, okay. And I must say, this is a beautiful coil. All right. Well, again, only a year old. Very different than the bed we opened up, uh, like, about a year ago. Yeah. So this is, uh, so they have this, this braided coil here. Very... Uh, expensive and a very if you look at the coil here it's, it's braided steel basically intertwined steel see how thick and and then next to it they have one that's a little little knot that's so the alternate but, but look how thick the gauge is here this has got to be like a 14 gauge which in our industry is nowadays thick back in the day 12 and a half and 13 the smaller the number the thicker the wire was even All heavier right. but this is a great unit um, love the unit you can't go wrong. This is called foam encasing around the edge right here. And this is what gives a little firmer edge to it, Joe. Um, but look at that. The problem is they have all this layering on top of a beautiful coil. You're better off, take one of our covers over there, bring one of our covers over. Just put a nice little comfort layer over this and put your, your top right on top of it. And let the coils do what they're do supposed to do. Do their job. If you bury it and all that, you're not, there's no, you're just sleeping on a bunch of foam. So, so if you were to, if I were to build a bed, I would do this and I would add one other little, nice little layer in there. And now the coil's doing exactly what it's designed to do. All right. So, yeah, this is a, Now, is there anything below the coils or is, is no, it typically... No, let's see if they laminate them in there. Let's see if they... Yeah. No, so they don't do that. So here's, here's one thing. They do, they do. But, but the glue's this. not catching. The glue's not holding. Yeah. So what me, is this glue? I've never seen this blue. I don't use this. Um, they have machines. They have big machines that actually drizzle it on, and they roll this through it, and it just drizzles it in these exact spots. Yeah, right. this is, but look, look at that. That's fine. I can stay in there, Franklin. Huh? Heavy coils, great coils. Simmons, yeah, they're thick. You Simmons can tell. Simmons has great coils. Everything else, if I were to grade, grade this mattress on a, you know, a, a uh, a report card, I'd say the coil's an A. I'd say the foaming casing right here is about a, a B. And the memory foam is a B. But the, the assembly of it is probably a C. So, so Plus, C minus. C minus, yeah. Yeah. Um, average score, a B. A B, a, a, a B on this thing. Which means for $5,000, you should have an A. Yeah, I agree. Eight plus, you should five grand. Well, that's 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 the uh, Beauty Rest K Series Black uh, opened up for you. And what's the final grade you're giving it? A B? I give it a B. I, a I B. like it. Other than all that on top, it gets a B. It's a all B. right. Yeah. And this is really thick, and it's very well supported. Great so. coils. I mean, you know. Yeah, Thanks for watching. So, well, real quick, if yeah. you're gonna buy a Beauty Rest out there, buy one not so thick. Okay. Buy one where you're closer to the core. Yeah, so maybe all that foam isn't that great of an idea. And plus, right. the foam isn't breathable either. Right. So yeah. if you're sleeping hot or anything like that, it's probably not going to help. Right. Um, that's it. I mean, and that's it. That's, that's uh, this, this week's video. We hope to hear from you. We'd love to know what you guys would love to hear from us and what kind of stuff you'd love hey, for us to guys do. Oh, uh, yeah. So <laughs> you tell, why don't you tell them what this is? So, so Canyon Adventure Vans. This is one of the reasons we haven't been on YouTube. Right, right. So we took on a project for this wonderful company called Canyon Adventure Vans out here in Southern California. And they're probably the premier van conversion company. Jason, the owner, came out with some beautiful design aspects to his, go online, canyonadventurevans.com, I think it is. Yeah. And you're going to see what he's done to these Mercedes Sprinter Vans. Um, some of them are on the Ford chassis, you have the Storyteller, the Rebel. Anyhow, the point is, we got in touch, we got together, and we designed probably one of the nicest mattresses in the country for these particular vans. And uh, you can purchase them through Canyon Adventure Vans. Really nice, and, and, plush, and we, yeah, custom. I mean, you can't, 
yeah, you can't get anything better than what we're building for that company. And most of our time has been spent jigging up and creating that brand for him. And, and we'll, we'll, we'll do some videos on that in the near future. But yeah. again, we'd love to know what you guys want us to make in terms of videos because we did kind of run out of steam in terms of, hey, what do you guys want to listen to and whatnot. So right. Right. we hope you enjoyed it. A lot, of, a lot of people have been asking for us to open up some beds. It's not that easy to find the time or the bed mm -hmm. or you know something that makes sense to open up. But today yeah, we, no, was a gold, no. a gold, gold mine. Yep. So yep. thank, thank you. you. Yep.